Two days after the deadly crash and a day after turning himself in, Nicholas Thu remained behind bars while his lawyer fronted Liverpool local court. My condolences sincerely to the two young kids' families, their very tragic circumstances, and the matter should remain confidential between the courts. The 27-year-old did not apply for bail. It's alleged he was behind the wheel of this grey sedan despite never holding a license when it crashed while going more than 45 kilometers over the speed limit. The 13 and 14 year old boys in the back seat died. CCTV footage shows Mr. Thu and his front seat passenger, Anthony Morris, walking from the wreckage and fleeing the scene. Mr. Thu's nine charges included aggravated dangerous driving occasioning death and failure to stop and assist afterwards. Mr. Morris is still being treated in hospital. The community here is still shaken by what's happened. Many are calling for measures to help reduce speeding on this road, including speed humps and speed cameras. The families of the two victims issued a joint statement. Both of our families are still in shock and devastated over the tragic crash. We are continuing to come to terms with the loss of our much loved son and brother. They've asked for privacy while the police investigation continues. Nicholas Thu will make his next court appearance in January. Nabil Nashar, ABC News. Sydney.